welcome to our vlog. So, today I will be talking about an environmental issue and I'm hoping that I will persuade some of you to do something about this issue. This issue it surrounds around the Makanan area, goes all the way back in the year 2012. Typhoon Pablo. This issue is about the flooding of Makanan area. Many of us know that we humans cannot stop natural calamities but we have the power and authority to lessen or stop casualties so in this video in this vlog i will show you some solutions to lessen casualties and provide you uh, how to resolve these problems my classmates will tell to you about the causes of these environmental issues and the next thing is to provide to you solutions about this kind of issues to show to you to persuade you to do something about this environmental issue Barangay Makanhan is one of the first districts of flood prone barangays here in Cagayan de Oro City. This concern or issue goes all the way back from the typhoon Pablo in the year 2012, where people and residents tried to cross the flooded streets of Makanhan Road in Barangay Carmen. The eye of typhoon located in the vicinity of Cagayan de Oro City at 12 o'clock noon, exhibiting moderate to intense rain throughout the area. Hello everyone, now I will discuss to you um, causes, um, especially in area of Makanhan, the flood prone area. So first is a heavy rain. So the this is a simplest explanation for flood is a heavy rain. The second one is um, overflowing rivers. So we know that Makanhan um, area beside uh, Cagayan de Oro rivers. Then the third cause is the urban drainage. We know that urban drainage is an area you know, so of land where precipitation collects and drains off into a common outlet you know, such as a uh, river, a uh, bay, or any body of waters. Me personally, uh, experience uh, as I visit, uh, every time I visit uh, Makanhan, you know, so I, I observe that the road is always wet. You know, so um, Also, that the reason why the road is always wet is a, a clogging so there are no a clogging of drainage and even uh, pipe damage you know, the, the, the water will flow over the road then the fourth one is channel with um, step sides so as we know that you know, even though even though Makanhan beside the river, also the opposite side there is a steep side. You know, so the water um, will flow to that area, especially in Makanhan. Now, we must know the causes of this issue. Several areas, including Makanhan, are prone to flood because of heavy rains. Now, heavy rains causes urban flooding. One of the reasons why we always experience these floods, the local drainage have problems and there are a lot of plastic, a lot of unwanted garbages that are blocking these drainages. This simple throwing of the garbages in drainages or not just in drainages but 
anywhere throw your garbages and anywhere it can cause a lot of damage it can, it can cause a heavy heavier consequence now we are going to persuade you to convince you to do something about this so now in your hell yeah can you explain you tell something can you convince them about doing something to this issue Thank you for that, Jello. I can suggest that to lessen the flood is we need to throw our garbage properly so that it won't cause flooding to canals and also fixing the drainage. The best solution is to make an action. Thank you for that, Nino. Prevention is better than cure. To prevent these kinds of issues, to prevent floods in our areas, we must start to throw away our garbages responsibly to throw them in the right place makanhan needs to be clean or as residents we must help clean our own barangays now let us help clean our own barangays that's all and thank you for watching